What was that black goo? Was the black goo different than the sparkly green goo? Was the black goo always intended for use as a weapon or was it just weird alien cum? Why did Ridley Scott let his 12-year-old son do the makeup for Wayland? How did the pre-recorded hologram old man and old man makeup know where to look at the scientists at? Why would Holloway assume that the air was okay to breathe inside the spaceship just because they detected an oxygen atmosphere? What about alien diseases and deadly microbes? I would have kept my fucking space helmet on just in case. So they bring along a biologist, and the second that they find a dead alien body, instead of being curious about it scientifically, he just wants to run away. It's been dead for 10,000 years. Before sending this biologist out on a four-year-long space mission, didn't they do some kind of psychological profile on him? The results would have showed that he was some kind of pussy? I have to take a psychological profile test when I apply for a job at Target. But then later, when that same scientist is confronted with a sketchy looking gray alien penis, he wants to stick his face in it. That seems kind of stupid to me. What was the point of revealing Charlize Theron as Waylon's daughter? Why did Waylon want David to infect Holloway with the black goo? Did David do it on his own? Was it to find out what the black goo did to a person? Did he have a malfunction in his robot brain? Was David a secret asshole? If the black goo alters people's DNA, why did a little fish come out of Holloway's eye? Why? Did David know that Sean Holloway would have sex right after he infected him with the black goo and that she would instantly get pregnant with a squid alien somehow? Is he an expert in things that have never, ever happened? If we share the same DNA with the engineers that created us, why do other life forms on Earth not share the same DNA? The engineers landed on Earth and created life on Earth, and how come there was 65 million years of dinosaurs before us? Why would the last engineer waste his time hunting down Shaw and Charlize Theron when he could have just flew his ship away and completed his mission? How did those two guys get lost in the caves when the ship had an elaborate 3D map and were tracking their every move and they were in constant communication with the ship? Why would the Prometheus crew agree to go on a four-year mission when they're not even briefed about what the mission is until right before the mission starts? What if the mission involved a gangbang? Why did Waylon have to pretend he was dead? Nah. Why did the engineers create a star map back to a planet that was just their weapons research facility? Why did no one give a shit that Waylon was alive, and then also not give a shit when Waylon died? Wouldn't Waylon being revealed that he was alive be some sort of very obvious deceit? Why would those two dumb broads run in a line when they're trying to escape a crashing circle ship that was rolling after them? Why did the engineers want to come to Earth to kill us? when they created us. Was creating us a mistake? Why was it a mistake? What was the security recordings that showed all the engineers running from something? Were they running from the black goo? Was the black goo attacking them? If they were running away from the black goo that was attacking them and trying to kill them, then why was the one guy running into the room where all the vases with the black goo was when the door closed and cut his head off? Shouldn't he have been running away from that room? Did he forget his wallet in there? Hey guys, have you seen Prometheus? What's Prometheus?